네, 안녕하세요. 서울 뿌리 깊은 치과의 조영진 원장입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Cho Yongjin of Seoul Deep Rooted Dental Clinic. Today, I want to talk about bar type over denture as part of master course. 자, bar type implant over denture는 이와 같이 여러 개의 임플란트를 승립해서 Bar type implant over denture. It refers to a situation where multiple implants are placed and where removable implant over denture is delivered on top. There are different treatment options that we can provide to fully dentureless patients. Complete denture, implant over denture, implant supported FPD and RPD, hybrid fixed complete denture, and fixed partial denture where multiple implants are used. Different suggestions can be made. Today, I want to focus on bar type implant supported over denture. Implant supported over denture can be divided into bar type over denture and solitary type over denture, which was addressed previously. By solitary type, it refers to treatment option where the two implants are not connected and solitary attachments are used. Two or more number of implants are placed and they are connected using bar and implant over denture is provided. Let's compare bar clip with ball type, which is a prominent solitary type option. In terms of retention, because of clip, bar type is more favorable in terms of hygiene, treatment cost, and simplicity. Solitary type is more favorable because the two implants do not need to be connected. Complicated lab process is unnecessary and treatment can be made simple. This can be the downside of bar type. Locator over denture, which is a prominent solitary type, and bar type attachment over denture is compared here. The biggest difference is vertical space because the multiple implants are connected using bar. In the case of bar type over denture, there is a structure called bar, and below that, there needs to be space with the gingiva, and on top, the clip needs to go in. The space that is taken up is about 8 millimeters. This is a significant difference with low profile locator attachment, which requires only 2.7 millimeters. In the case of bar type of denture, significant amount of vertical space is necessary. Hence, this would be a fit treatment plan if there is a significant alveolar process resorption along with a tooth loss. If you use bar type because multiple implants are connected, it can be more favorable in terms of distribution of occlusal force. Also, unlike solitary type over denture, which just uses resilient attachment, you can get various options to enhance support, retention, and stability. It can be applied in different ways, and depending on the number of clips, so the level of retention can be adjusted. You can make it stronger or less strong. On the bar, we can add magnet or other auxiliary attachments to increase retention. These can be applied, and this is a plus. Because multiple implants are placed and connected with bar, the path is not as important. In the case of solitary type attachment option, path is very important, but with bar type, because bar clip goes in, the path of individual implants are not as important. There are not that many limitations in this respect. Prominently, and most notably, four or two implants are placed in the lower anterior area and these are connected with bar or in the upper you can place about four implants to connect with bar. This is the most common indication. If there is a very significant resorption of alveolar ridge, you can use this option and you need to use this option in those cases 
to be able to prevent complications re related to excessively resorbed the ridge or component fracture. Bari overdenture can be used for instances where there has been significant amount of alveolar ridge resorption as well as when there is need to increase support stability as well as retention. Typically, four implants are placed in the upper and connected with bar and in the lower, two implants are placed and connected with bar. You can add uh, different auxiliary attachments to increase retention. Depending on antagonist, you can use different combinations rather than connecting all four implants. You can place more number of implants and make milled bar and you can utilize mill bar attachments to enhance friction and retention that mill bar can provide. Let me show you a typical case. In the upper, complete denture has been used. In the lower, two implants have been placed and bar over denture was used. This was a case done by Dr. Kim Hakko. In the upper, conventional full denture was provided and in the lower, two implants were placed for bar over denture. If you take a look over here, alginate was used to take a preliminary impression and using model, pickup impression coping and pickup impression was taken with individual tray. And this kind of jig is fabricated using pattern resin. In the upper and lower border molding and impression material like silicone is used to take a pickup impression as well as functional impression. Main model is made, wax rim is made, VD is determined, and once this is done, artificial teeth are aligned on the artificial alveolar ridge, and bite is verified. This is similar to the conventional removable complete denture fabrication process. After having fabricated the denture between implants, the bar is casted and clip is added to the inner surface of bar. This is complete denture for the upper and this is how the case was completed. In the case of implant over denture, the clinical process is similar to solitary type over denture and a complete denture. Although bar over denture is not necessarily very familiar to clinicians, at times we have to use it. What considerations should we make that is unlike a solitary type over denture? Let's take a look at that first. So you need to look at implant position. In the case of solitary type, if we are to do implant over denture, it doesn't really matter whether the arch shape is U shape or V shape. However, if two or more implants are connected, in the case of bar over denture, it doesn't matter if the arch shape is U shape, but if the arch shape is V shape and if implants have been placed not in 2 and 2, but in number 3 and 3 or 4 and 4, the bar may invade tongue space. So in the case of V shaped arch, you need to pay more close attention to implant position. If two implants are placed, the inter-implanted distance needs to be over 13 millimeters. The 13 millimeters equals 5 millimeters of clip and 2 millimeters of space between clip and implant. If you are to place 4 millimeter implant, the half diameter 2 millimeter needs to exist. So in total, there needs to be 13 millimeters of inter-implant distance. This is to position the clip in between. Also, you can provide sufficient distance. If multiple implants have been placed and if the inter-implant distance is less, then you can also utilize a distal extension bar and position clip here. If you do this, the three clips allow different direction of movement. So the if you use the three clips here, it serves like a fixed complete denture. Second, let's look at physiologic movement of bar over denture. 
When implant bar over denture has been delivered like this functionally, once occlusal force is applied and when patient chews, the posterior area sinks down and there is rotation if you look from the fulcrum line on the anterior side. Posterior to implant attachment, abutment, there's contact interference. So, in the posterior area, once there's mastication, there is sinking down and rotation. Therefore, we need to provide physiological relief to prevent unnecessary stress being concentrated on the implant. We need to think of physiologic functional movement and provide physiological relief in the posterior area. In order to minimize such movement, we need to provide maximum extension. So it needs to cover up to the retromolar pad. If there is a severe ridge resorption and if such movement becomes worse, you need to do relining. If the number of implants are more than two, if four implants are placed in the anterior area to provide bar over denture, various considerations need to be made. As mentioned earlier, the direction of denture movement allowable by each clip are not the same. The clips are positioned in different positions, so the form is implant-supported over denture, but it functions as fixed complete denture. Please bear in mind that a lot of load is managed on the implant side rather than the tissue side. When four implants are placed in the anterior area to provide implant over denture, the implant placement positions are very similar to when IARPD or implant supported fixed complete denture along with class 1 RPD in posterior area are delivered so you need to think of the pros and cons of two different treatment options. Especially when there's lack of vertical space, a bar over denture is nearly impossible or if you just do it, there can be future complications so you need to consider IARPD. In all cases, in fully dentulous patients, four implants have been placed in the anterior area, fixed prosthesis was delivered, and in the posterior area, class 1 RPD was fabricated. It's clear that the distance from the incisal edge of a closal table to the gingival line is less than 14 millimeters. It looks about 10 to 12 millimeters. In order to have sufficient space from the gingival line to the suprastructure of the implant, there needs to be 14 millimeters of space. Unless such a space can be provided, you need to consider implant-supported fixed prosthesis or IARPD. I think it will be more advantageous than bar-type implant overdenture. As mentioned repeatedly, in a bar implant bar over denture, the space is very important. I've repeatedly mentioned 14 millimeters. The space taken up by bar and clip is 8 millimeters, denture base 2 millimeters, and artificial teeth alignment to 4 to 6 millimeters. In total, there needs to be about 14 millimeters of space. This is not from implant top, but from gingival line to the suprastructure, there needs to be 14 millimeters of space. If there's more space, it's not problematic, but when you do analysis, if it is below 14 millimeters, there can be many complications with implant bar over dentures. There are such risks, so we need to keep that in mind. Depending on the amount of space, we need to choose whether we're going to use bar over denture or use multiple implants to provide solitary type over denture, or we can also utilize IARPD where fixed implant prosthesis is delivered in the anterior area and partial denture is used. We need to think of the available space. In wax denture stage, you use putty or stone to get index with artificial teeth and from the artificial teeth to the gingival line 
We need to assess whether there is a vertical space of uh, 40 millimeters. We need to evaluate from the lingual side whether there is ho sufficient horizontal and vertical space. And you need to evaluate whether there is sufficient space for denture base and artificial teeth. And then move on to bar over denture face. By doing this, we'd be able to overcome or prevent the potential issues. Verification of the space is very important. This is crucial in using a bar over denture as treatment option. As mentioned, implant position is very important. Implant path is not as important because it's connected with bar, but you need to look at implant position carefully. As functional load is applied in the posterior area, there can be AP rotation and we need to look at whether relief is necessary. When over four implants are placed, you need to look at the pro and cons of IARPD, a bar over denture, and choose a treatment option accordingly. Today I've talked about implant the bar over denture, so please refer to these points. The rest is quite similar to solitary type over denture or other removable complete to denture prosthesis. So please focus on these points. By doing this, you'll be able to find the right indication and provide great treatment. Today I've talked about implant bar type over denture. If you're interested in specifics, please refer to offline master course. I look forward to your interest. Thank you for your attention.